what's up people today is going to be another quick video but before i get into it go ahead hit that like button if you haven't already hit the subscribe button and don't forget help your boy keep growing and hit one of those donation links all right now to it today i'm coming to you with the case out of california and it's regarding our cell phone this one is Riley v. California, 573 U.S., and it's a 2014 case. Now, the one thing that we always are concerned with is the police either grabbing or going in our phone. And the reason being is because those things are private. Those are our personal effects. And we also know there's an amendment, a little pesky one, that says a person has the right to remain private in their personal effects and papers and home. And one of those effects is your cell phone. In Raleigh View, California, the court ruled that warrantless search and seizure of digital contents of a cell phone during arrest is unconstitutional. So even if they want to get information from your cell phone, there has to be probable cause that your cell phone was part of a crime. So that's the only way they can get probable cause. And as we've already learned, probable cause can only come from a crime. So even when we look down in California, they had a previous case, which is Chimel v. California in which they stated that the exception is if someone is being arrested in a home or even in a automobile, it's called an exigent circumstance. They're not allowed to search the entire property or the entire premises or even the entire vehicle. They're only allowed to search the immediate area that is within arm's length of the arrestee. If they deem there may be evidence that can be secured of the crime that they are being arrested for. Now again, that got really specific really quick. There has to be evidence of a crime that they believe is in that immediate or arm length vicinity. So if your arms are behind your back, can't be within arm's length unless it's in your pocket. And it, we also know without probable cause or articulation, that they can't search your pockets without first saying, hey, that looks to appear to be a weapon. That appears to be contraband or whatever. And if they are unable to do that, that search itself is illegal. Riley v. California, 2014 case. Even if they want your information from on your phone, they need a warrant. So remember, make them do their job properly. Until next time.